So, y'all know I'm not a meat eater. I will sample meats. Why can't we have some meats? What movie is that from? Um, I like to, when I travel, try out what's cultural in that space. And sometimes it does include meat or something made with the meat sauce or something like that. So I am not against trying it. Like I'll literally eat like one bite and that's pretty much all I want is just to taste, taste the flavor, um, see what they make in that, in that region, what's popular, you know, so that I can speak to it. Right. But what that does is that's like inspiration. Um, you know, what can I make that mimics that but is meatless? In places like Tanzania, there's so many more fruits and vegetable options here, fresh and raw, than what we can really get in the States, uh, you know, without paying an arm and a leg. So, for example, I'm going to give you one. Jackfruit. You can get jackfruits, I promise, this big. They said they grow on trees. I haven't seen the trees yet, but this big. Like, I don't know, 10,000 tea shillings, which is less than $5, something like that. Whereas in the States, it's by the pound. So something this big is going to cost probably about $60, $70. I have bought $30 jackfruit before because they were like 27 or 28 pounds, right? And so that is one option of um, a meatless meat. You can also make kind of the recipe I use, which I mock every single time that I make it. And it's like the crumbled meat sauce or what I use for my meatloaf. And that's like a myriad of, of vegetables all blended together and then cooked slowly either in the oven as a meatloaf or on the stovetop. And so you have all types of different options that you can, can do with that you know, depending on what you like to eat, including you can put beans in it, you've got potatoes, you've got uh, cauliflower and carrots and onion, all that stuff, right? You could be doing that. Then we've got the mushroom. You've got your portabella, you've got your, um, your regular mushrooms, you've got oyster mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms, a lot of people use these. I'll show you what that looks like. A lot of people use these to fry, like, chicken wings and they're great for that they have the texture and everything of that i don't fry anything unless i have my air fryer and as you guys know i am out of the state so i don't have my air fryer uh but i like to saute these and i could potentially you know put these in the oven or something y'all it's too hot to be acting like i'm about to put anything in the oven i got two ovens here it ain't happening but what I'm doing right now is I'm just, I'm taking off, cutting off the stems because these stems can actually be chopped up and used as like, uh, it's another meat form of meat as well. And it's actually more coarse. So if I got a whole bunch of these oyster mushrooms, I could chop these all up and make a ground meat from those, season it and make a ground meat, which I might do. I might just do that just to see how it works. Um, or um, use it to make like mini, uh, what do we call, scallops. They use a different type of mushroom to make the, emulate the scallops. It's like a bigger mushroom like with a base about this size, maybe even bigger. And they cut it up and sear it. I've had it at a place in Austin, Austin, Texas, and it was phenomenal tastes just like scallops and I love scallops. I don't really eat them. Um, I haven't eaten them since I've been plant-based, I don't think, at least I don't recall. But it is one thing that I do really, really enjoy, right? Actually, no, I have had some. I have had some scallops uh, when I did my cooking show a few years ago. So anyway, you guys, I'm literally just cutting off these stems I'm going to go ahead and saute. I have, I have some coconut oil in there, in the pan already. So I'm going to heat that up. I think I'm going to leave the oyster mushrooms 
as they are. I really don't want to chop these up. I kind of want to leave them and let them kind of pan sear this way. Maybe just split them open and pan sear those. Like a like a like a fillet kind of meat. So like a chicken or something like that. So just pulling out all the stems. I've already rinsed these off in scalding water, which is why they're a little bit more brown because it kind of cooked a little bit. And then I've got my turmeric, just uh, lightly chopped turmeric. I've got some ginger. You know, you want some natural spice and flavor. Use the root vegetables. You're gonna get a lot of flavor. It's a lot of savory flavor as well from those. And you know, the benefit is fantastic. I got my onion and then my pili pili, which will not be cooked. I have to always remind myself, do not throw this in with everything because once you start cooking pili pili, if you guys have seen my videos, y'all know what happens. I cannot stop coughing. Because once that spice gets into the air, into the heat and then into the air, it's like everywhere. You can't breathe for the rest of the day. So we're gonna make sure we don't cook any pili pili. And then I have my chopped uh, Tanzanian garlic, which we're gonna put the garlic in first. The garlic and the onion. So you wait until the, the oil gets warm. So when you throw your veggies in, they sizzle like that. You want to sizzle. But shizzle my snizzle. Go in the onion. I'm going to let these pan sear and brown a little bit before I put the root vegetables in. I'm going to go ahead while I'm sitting on this tabletop, season the mushrooms. And you can do your seasoning the night before. Put a little oil in it and all of your seasonings and let that marinate overnight. Bomb.com diggity. Take these, throw these in. Like I said, I'm gonna keep these stems, you guys, for the next, the next offering. I had to run out and get a spoon so I can do a little stirring. Now, the nice thing too, when you're sauteing your garlic and your onion, go ahead and throw some seasoning in. Let me tell y'all, when I cook garlic and onion, which I know are acidic, um, first of all, drink a lot of water when you do it. But like I could almost, I could eat this just right out the pot. There's something about that garlic and onion flavor. So I am going to season my oyster mushrooms with a little chili powder. Just sprinkling, I don't really measure. I measure only when I have to write up a recipe. Um, but I pretty much do things by feel, uh, by look, and, you know, what I like to taste. I'm going to put some cumin, a big pinch, two big pinches of cumin. Love me some cumin. Just toss it around with your fingers. Let your fingers do the walking. Okay, we all family here, we're family. We are family. And then I'm gonna put a little cinnamon. It's kinda like my secret seasoning sometimes. Sometimes uh, paprika is, but they don't have paprika here like, like I like. Since I'm gonna do pili pili, I'm not gonna put any of the hot pepper chili flakes. I'm not gonna do any of those. So I can see the browning. That's hot. I can see the browning of the onion and garlic combination. You guys see that? We call that caramelized. This caramelized. So I'm going to put just a tad bit of oil, top it off with a little bit of 100% pure natural coconut oil bought right here in Tanzania. Let me tell you where this is from. It's unrefined, unbleached, unbleached, non-hydrogen, 
uh, hydrogenated, uh, non deodorized, and no solvents have been used in the production of this. And it is a product of India, actually. And while all that's going, I'm going to pour myself a little wine. I am drinking a Mohan's Reserve Naturally uh, Sweet Red. This is from South Africa. And it's actually pretty good. It doesn't have the aftertaste like a lot of sweet wines have an aftertaste. Uh, I, I can't even really explain what the aftertaste is, but a lot of them have that. All right, so we're gonna stir this up just a little bit before we toss in these mushrooms. And then we literally just dump those in. And we want the pot hot. Ooh, suck up that pepper. We want the pot hot so that it will actually sear the mushrooms. The nice thing is, is when you can get the mushrooms spicy, or not spicy, I mean um, crispy, crispy on the ends, right? Okay, so like I said, I have the turmeric and garlic already chopped. I'm going to throw a little bit of that in. I'm also going to save the rest of this for the chickpeas. So chickpeas is also a great meat substitute. So these are right out of the can. I actually did not uh, cook these myself. I actually have to go and get a bag of chickpeas. I have been moving around for the last, now seven days. I have been in two places three times. I've been here twice since last week. So I haven't really been able to grocery shop and get the things that I like, so sometimes I have to grab a can, right? It is what it is. You don't die, but I do prefer to make my own beans from scratch. So I pretty much just rough mash the beans, the chickpeas in this case, and I like mine with like a chunky, I like the texture, so I don't necessarily even like to blend it till it's mush. You know, I don't, I don't want hummus. Um, I want more of a, like a meatier texture. So that's another option for meat. So this is fantastic if you're gonna make a tuna. You see what that looks like? So if you're gonna make tuna, chickpeas, make it just like you make tuna, you can get um, mayo, mayo less mayonnaise, so without the eggs. That's all that means, no eggs. And they just use like hydrogenized oils and stuff like that, which you don't, well, you hopefully get one that doesn't have that, but a lot of them do. Yes, I'm drinking my wine out of the cup because she doesn't have the wine glasses here. But that's all right. The wine tastes the same. Well, actually, I think it does taste different when you put it in a wine glass. Ooh, okay. So that's sauteing. You see that? I really don't have a plan of what I'm making. Uh, this just happens to be what I had left over. So inside the chickpeas, I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the turmeric and ginger root chopped. I'm going to put a little bit of the peel peely I think you guys, what I don't have, oh, yes I do, yay. My limes or lemon. They look like limes, but they're actually lemons. If you don't have salt, which is a good thing sometimes, you know, sea salt or whatever, go ahead and just use lemon and lime. You don't have pepper, use pili pili, which is, I use habanero. You can use whatever pepper you actually want. Whatever one you actually like. The habanero goes fantastic with this, with pili pili. Or habanero is a pili pili. 
with the lime juice. And I just squeeze that in, try to get all the seeds before they come out. I'm going to tell you guys, these uh, lemons that they have here got about 500 seeds in them. You could plant a whole forest. Forest, forest. Uh -huh. What movie is that from? or anything, the chickpeas is going to be my rice base, okay? I don't have any other <coughs> excuse me, vegetables today because I just got here. I haven't eaten all day, uh, but I do have some mango. So we're just going to make a simple dish. I am queen of show you how to mix up some things that you just happen to have lying around the kitchen, i.e. the refrigerator. That's a movie. I think that's just something to say. Y'all know where that's from, though? Know? Why people say that? I'm going to do a contest and just start doing those kinds of things and see how many people can guess. And maybe do a giveaway, like a recipe giveaway. So when you subscribe, you get a free recipe of your choice. Right now, if you subscribe to my site, you just subscribe and you don't have to pay. So I, it behooves you guys to become subscribers subscribers at mindyourbodyandsoul.com because this is a mindyourbodyandsoul.com production that's what we're going to call it alright so while that pot is heating up basically I'm trying to cook the water out of it so I can put a little oil without it popping all over the place That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to taste this. Decide what seasonings I want to put. I got the Pili Pili. There's a seasoning here. It is everything herbs. And it's got sage, thyme, uh, oregano, sweet basil, and marjoram in it. And it is fantastic. And I, I think it has a little sea salt. Mix that all together. Put a little bit more time over here. No, I got time. I got time on it. I don't know, y'all. It's just one of those days. It's one of those days. Just one of those days when the world seems right. I know to make the words. Just one of them days. Y'all know I wasn't really allowed to listen to music back in the day, so I know the I know the chorus. Okay, that's the chorus, but I don't know that either. But you know, so I had to you know figure out what was the lyrics I was supposed to supposed to know. I was supposed to know, as my uncle used to say. I didn't really know. So we're going to put a little bit of the coconut oil in that other skillet. Let that heat up, which it should heat really quick because the bottom of that pan is hot. You can smell that coconut. Okay. And then we're going to toss in the chickpeas. 
I want a little bit more sizzle in that, so I'm not gonna toss some chickpeas just yet. They're not ready. And actually, I put the chili chili in there, so I might need to cover it. Let me show you guys what the onions look like. They are pretty much done. They got that browning effect. So my little trick with the the meat mixture, the meatless meat mixture. So it's a little bit brown. You want to get all that off? Go ahead, throw a little bit of wine in it. So if somebody is like, I don't want my food. It has alcohol. It lifts all of the good flavor right off the bottom so you don't leave nothing in the pan. See, we don't want nothing in the pan. And it puts all of that, and it cooks the alcohol out, so you don't have to worry about it, y'all. You cook the alcohol right on out. All right, we got a little sear going on. We throw all these chickpeas right in this pot. We're going to cross-pollinate my spoon because it's already got some good seasoning on it. And the chickpeas can kind of just sit in here not too long to sear a little bit. Fantastic meats. Why can't I have some meats? Anybody guess what movie that's from yet? If you have, type it in the comments. Type it in the comments. Uh -huh. All right, I'm gonna try this. <coughs> I literally just sucked up some pilly pilly air. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's spicy. You know how they tell you, sip slow, sip slow. I need to sip slow before I end up with some issues. Um, okay, that's good. So I'm going to top this off with a little bit of lime juice. Because I didn't put any salt in it. And that's the flavor enhancer. So they actually sell flavor enhancer. MSG is flavor enhancer. But if you just simply use limes, the difference that putting limes in your food makes after you've got all your spices, because it's going to bring everything together, that tastes world of difference compared to what I just ate a minute ago. All right, so the chickpeas is rocking. You're really just warming those up, basically. If you want them more like a... Like a mashed potato, just pour some water in there and you can make mashed potatoes. But I want mine more chunky. Chunky. Looking for them girl with the big old hoops. I got little hoops. Chop it down and daisy do. I want to get down. I'm going to brown it just a little bit, Mom. Just a little bit, Mom.
you want a clean space. So I'm going to take the remaining, got a little container here. I'm just going to throw these in this container and store, put everything back in the fridge. I'm going to cook the rest of the, the stems later. That's going to be another show, okay? I need y'all to stay with me. Just stay with me. Clean this stuff up. Turn this off. That is done. Now we're going to plate it, you guys. All right. So, like I said, I didn't really have a plan of what I was going to make. But what would be really awesome is if I had some greens. Greens, beans. Potatoes, tomatoes. So there's the chickpeas. Like so, like I said, look at how that could be a great meat, right? Here, put some water in that pan. And you can cook down, loosen up all that food particle on the pan, make it easier to wash later on. We want things to be easy, you guys. No sense in making a simple meal and then your cleaning process is gut-wrenching, okay? Now we're going to take our meat mixture, our meatless meat. Hold on. We'll take our meatless meat. We're going to put that right on top. You could actually mix this in. Look at that. Doesn't it look like a, a meat? Like a, a beef, right? Like skirt steak or something. And we're just going to take a little bit of this juice and drizzle that. Look at that. I feel like emerald or something. Bam! Up in this joint. And that's so fitting, if you know me. You know anything about me. So we're going to now do the do with the mango. And cut a half of this. I know it's ripe already. I already know what it is. Easiest way to cut one, score it. And this is just, a, you know, to add a little bit of sweet, if you want. You don't have to do this. But you can. You can put it on the side if you want. But like I said, if I had some greens, some cucumber, or just some greens, I would have put that on the bottom. Put some tomatoes on the top. But I'm working with what I got. So this is it. that okay you guys so it is all finished and now we're going to dig in this is meatless meat meatless meat Monday now somebody else I know is doing a meatless meat Monday so I'm gonna call it something else I gotta come up with a cool name Mm. Oh wow. Some part, sometimes I even surprise myself. You got the spicy, because it's got the pili pili. It's the sweet of the mango. The texture of the of the oyster mushroom with the texture of the chickpeas is like a rice. Or a potato. Mmm. Fantastic. I'm going to have to get this added to my recipe book. 
But guys, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube because it's free 99. Click that subscribe, like, and share button. I don't think there's a like button. Oh, like, like the like the video, subscribe, and then share it with somebody. And uh, also go and subscribe to my website, my blog and stuff at mindyourbodyandsoul.com, all spelled out. You guys, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this fantastic meal. with my glass sweet red wine. I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. You guys know the drill. Toodles and noodles.